Hi, my name is Mary Lynn Rice Cub, and I am a wife, a mother, and I've made my living as an actor for over 20 years. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I really love it. I've loved it for a long time, but lately I've not been working as much as I want to, and... Hi, I have an audition, and here's the character. It's a living, a living tomb. It's a living tomb. The tomb that walks among us. It doesn't ever die. It doesn't ever stop. It's a pretty funny tomb. I would come on YouTube and see if I can um, connect more on here in a different way than I have before. My husband and my son are on an overnight camping trip. It's very exciting. I don't, I can't remember, I'm sure this has happened before, if my husband, Matt, and my son, Val, have gone away, away and left me home without them. That must have happened before. He's 10 years old, my son, and he's going on a um, ocean study. I just kept picturing it as camping in the woods, and then I looked at the piece of paper and it's an ocean study class. And um, there was really a lot of things on the list for him to pack. And a lot more than you would think. A lot of rules about safety. A lot of optional things to pack. A lot of do's and don'ts. And um, it was kind of exciting seeing it through a child's eyes because he for some reason thought that he needed to have everything packed at nighttime. And I was like, well, you're gonna be wearing your shoes and then at night you put your shoes next to your bed. It was, I, I shouldn't be talking about it because that's his life, you know? I should talk about my life. I guess from an adult perspective, I'm so used to traveling that in my mind I was like, you, you don't need to pack the clothes you're gonna be wearing. Um, but yeah, there was, a, there was a, we lost the list at one point. We found the list again and, uh, then they left this morning. I made them some lunches. I made them some popcorn for the ride. And you know, I really love to do that, but I'm torn because I have this, um, this energy inside of me to, I guess the word is nurture. You know, I see myself as a pretty savvy gal, a pretty, uh, I don't like a lot of typical lady things, but then on the other hand, I am a lady. I really loved the movie A Star is Born. I saw it way after the fact. I didn't think I was going to love it. I just suddenly got a cold. My body is revolting because I'm going out at night to do stand-up. It's like the double life. I'm going out to the club at night. I'm getting up and being a mom. But if I, I think if I was just doing the mom stuff, I would get a little bit irate. Um, or it might just be some anger left over from the anger that I've been stuffing down for my entire adult life that I'm now comfortable enough to let it come to the surface and come out. You know what I mean? There might be some old wounds, you guys. I'm going to work through it. Not like Jackson, Montana. He didn't work through I didn't mean to say it like that. The guy committed suicide. That's uh, that's terrible. I can't believe they did that. And then had the dog waiting outside the... <sighs> that was harrowing. Um, but sweet. I believed in their romance. I didn't ever believe he was going to come out of it. But I didn't think he would kill himself. Although I'm not surprised. Uh, anyway... <sighs> It was a pretty good movie. I like to put on the, the old HGTV a lot just to have some white noise. But lately I haven't been interested in HGTV and that worries me because that's my go-to is HGTV. And lately, oh, to get back to the life questions from the beginning, 
with the acting stuff. It hasn't been a satisfying, for me, satisfying roles, satisfying experience. It's sort of feels like I'm starting over from ground zero and um, it's been not as enjoyable. So I thought I would um, try out YouTube and see, you know, see how things are on here. So here I am. Or maybe I'm just filming this because my husband and my son are gone and um, I have the whole house to myself. Hey, everybody. Ooh. Hello? Hello? Where is everybody? Is there a pet I can cuddle? I can hear the cat drinking water from here. He's not very cuddly. All right. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you later. Keep it real.